Hi, my name is Alan DeWolf. I'm the CEO of Boss Tools. What makes this tool successful and does what it does is two things. It's the design of that grinder that I use and that chainsaw disc. I've got a new motor that I'm putting in that tool. It's a faster motor, it's got more torque, it's got more power, and it's taking this tool to the next level. But the other element to this is the chainsaw disc. But what we found was if I take that chainsaw blade and I change it, I make it round, I make it small, I make it two inches, I change the, the dynamics of that, of that chainsaw blade and I make it to where it can be extremely controllable. The cutter tooth is the thing that makes all of this stuff work. We developed a tooth that could cut the density of a hoof. Now, the reason that it's so controllable is because of the depth gauge and this ramp. What's happening is that every time that little depth gauge hits, it makes that tooth bounce. It makes it bounce. Every time it hits, it's going to bounce. So you get it going fast enough, and really what you do is that you, the whole chain is riding on that gauge right there. It's going so fast that it's staying up just above that tooth. So to make it work, all you have to do is just apply a little pressure. You're going to get it out of that circular motion where it's not wanting to make contact. And you can push on that just ever so slightly to make it engage. And so what that means is that you now have the confidence to know that that chain disc is not trying to take control of the tool. It's not going to cut if you don't put some pressure on it. If on a regular chainsaw blade, you put it on a log, it's designed to cut. It's going to cut hard. Not so with a chain disc. It doesn't want to engage until you put a little bit of pressure on that blade. So it's the combination of those two things. Now you have to you, you can get a lot of different options on how that, that blade's going to cut. So what you're really doing is that as you begin to use the tool and you go through the, the little bit of the learning that you're going to have to go through, you're really kind of saying, well, if I do that, that blade's going to do this and the result on that hoof is going to be this. So you're really learning how you're going to move it around and you have to understand that when you use this blade, because of the fact that it is so easy to use, everything is a flicking motion. You're not actually trimming this hoof. You're sculpting that hoof. And that's the secret. You looking for the confirmation, right? What you're trying to do is remove the material that's on that hoof that don't belong and you're using a rasp and you're using a hoof knife and you're using a pair of nippers to remove that material. And that's what my tool does. It removes material. So you're going to be able to remove that material looking for that confirmation because you're doing it by sight with your hand tools. It, that, that hoof knife don't have a depth gauge on it, so you're doing it by sight. You're doing it by experience. Same thing with this tool. Only difference is this tool will get you there quicker. It's easier to use. What we find is that our, our people, people who are using the tool, start from the inside. They'll start at the frog. They work that sole area. They get that sole down to what they're looking for. And as they do that, they just keep going to the outside wall, just kind of floating that tool all the way around, sculpting that thing where it all looks nice and even. And by the time they get through, they don't need a pair of nippers to finish the job. They've already taken that outside wall. They've made it all work the way they wanted to, just with this one tool. Well, that's the story of, of what makes this tool work. It's a combination of the hoof boss and that chain disc. Uh, I hope you'll look through the website and look for the additional information that we've got here. I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you.